And we're back with casting of Frank Stone. Let's see what Maddie had a bad dream about. Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait. What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. <laughs> Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. But they didn't connect at all, seriously? Or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So, all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? Mm, she's also interested in the motives, so let's go with the... What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, now this is a real... Bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Hmm. So what would okay, what would be more interesting to her? I think Augustine. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. Augustine Lieber, elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with the cards close to the vest. She's it's hard close to, to the down. chest. Why vest? And Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay, now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and 
Now you go. That was never part of the agreement. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is a lot of wasted space. You could get another... Every single floor would Can't be a different room. This place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, Italian? Are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had him tailored just right by the other guy. I know. Huh. Who also got me the blazer. Now that was a curious sound. Limited VIP club edition. <laughs> You want to know a secret? Sure. Found a turtleneck in a second-hand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> they are just talking about Don't his know. outfit. Oh, you can be sure of that. And she found the secret room with all the cameras. Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Augustine has interest in temporal machinery. How would Linda know that what temporal machinery is? Oh my god, why are you here? I always I played all of the all of the super massive games, like, uh, basically all the other Dark Pictures anthology until Dawn, the Witch of the Hacket Quarry or the Quarry, and so on and so on. And always they, they always put like one or couple of the screens where you can look at stuff, but nothing ever comes out of it, and it always triggers me because I don't really know if. I am just stupid and I don't see something? Am I missing something? Or it's really just, you know, a flavor? It really bothers me. It's a dead bonsai tree. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Yeah. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it. How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I am. Um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. He does not give a single fuck. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Oh, well, now... That is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. Well, I kind of could have expected that. You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. <laughs> and the... The girl... Mari just full on... We feels alienated by me. Like, what the fuck? I'm not her mom. 
I met her. And I was a bitch to her from the start. Cool statue. A little bit. It's a killer. Missing a piece, though. It's missing... Is it missing the hammer? What was the hillbilly weapon of choice? Or a club or something? Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. The face of... Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. That fateful night I had seen one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice. The Flatfoot was... What? The Flatfoot was from out of town and a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into a fiery depths of hell itself, and there was stone, standing on a platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocent held in his death grip. I'm not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost, so I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descend descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of an action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it, said that he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone, saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. That's a very big font for a book. So we are missing piece of a statue here. Probably when we do it, it's gonna open the elevator, maybe. Okay. Looks like it opens with a key. Ah, uh, my sandal. I'm sorry I alienated you. Please don't have a depression looking out of the window. Augustine has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. Am I missing something? Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. I thought it's an elevator, but from... Now I think it's just like a metal cage guarding the door. Or something on the inside. Madi, I'm sorry. Yeah? Please don't be sad. Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who is she? Yeah? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Who is she talking to? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like, she really is out there, guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. 
Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Hmm. I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Three years ago, that oui. night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. That's a nice memory. Thank you. Hey, guys? Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Why? I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. <laughs> right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Isn't that the sheriff? It looked a little bit like a sheriff. The Phantom of Cedar Steel, Cedar Hills, 1980. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, 
tell me more. I've spent like <laughs> all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my uh, <sighs> assistant. It was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> oh, yeah. That reminds me. Now that you I was are about to an say. official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is <laughs> this is amazing. I'm I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I have no idea what ancillary producer even means. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. <laughs> Dad got a cool, little cool. more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. I always found it very strange that American culture and newspapers and everything are so hang up on the serial, serial killers, murderers, and, you know, all that guys. Like, I live in Europe, and in the newspapers, it's usually just this and tails killed this and this, it was brutal, that's it. Or not even names, there was just like, killer on the loose somewhere, and that's it. Jesus. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. If I'm gonna sneak you back in there, you better make it good. He gets it. He would go for it. He would be like, yeah, okay. And since... Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. Since Maddie doesn't know so him, I bet he dies. Up. In here. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Okay. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. End of an era. See, there's mill, still mill. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Thank you. Cedar Steel Mill to permanently close, August 24th, 1967. The Cedar Steel Mill, once the industrial heartbeat of our town, is to be permanently closed. Here, clo look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. <sighs> it mentions Frank? No, but it, it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like, people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all... related. 
to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Founded by Howard Kisney Tester in 1921, the mill, the mill in its wartime heyday produced high quality steel that was distributed across the nation. Mr. Tester. I pulled some of these today too. Fucking hell, I'm not gonna read that. Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Well, let's sure can't get enough Frank Stone. Secret of Killer Stone Killers. No, Secrets of Stone... Why is it not Stone Killer? Secrets of Killer Stone come to light. As Cedar Hill tries to make sense of recent events at the Cedar Steel Mill, more disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandal, the 36-year-old machinist Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who our own Sheriff Kusich is linking with multiple unsolved disappearances over the last three years has been described by those who knew him as loner, creep, and oddball. Most shocking are the growing rumors that the stone was taken by the cedar steel, steel as its owners and its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. Okay. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Tom Holt interview. Who is Tom Holt? Raymond Holt? Item added. Okay. There's radio with over there. No more edits. Let's go film. There is good light inside to film this shot. I can't believe mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. Hey me, hospital called. Mom will be home Sunday. Bon. Will he? Will he? Won't he? Nah, he's dead big time. Hey me, remember your lines, please. Murder fucking mill rocks. Okay. Oracle of the Omniverse. It was uh, through my own practices learned from my journeys through the American interior that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize another Cedar Hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. This little town seemed so very much like my own, yet so fascinating fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Calhern family still owned the drunk store, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Here he was, in healthy middle age, a season of life a season of life I knew he had never reached. I drew Omniverse? Far out. I drew two conclusions from my meditative voyage. One that voyage. One that every journey through life offers almost incalculable variations, and while we may each have only infinite pos only finite possibilities on our own journeys, they may be other jour journeys taken by mirror versions of ourselves that visit all destinations. Two, the different planes of real or reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries following to a single vast ocean of experience on, on and possibility. To explore this idea further we must consider some... What a bunch of nonsense. It's so hard to read. have an item. Use item. Place item. Press play. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that night. Before or since. And don't reckon I ever will again. <laughs> Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. 
He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Okay, that's it. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Maybe one day, for some reason, a new memento or new thingy appear, will appear there. Okay, I think we checked everything. Not that much. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. I think he would be insecure about Robert more and about the Frank Stone. Do you think I should worry about how tight they're getting after, like, one day? She barely knew Robert existed, and now they're inseparable. They're friends, Jaime. But sometimes friends both long for something more. She's something a bitch. Passionate. Something... Okay, stop. <clears throat> I've been thinking about something for the movie. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnished chamber location is perfect. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. I think he would be turned like... Okay, okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna be rad. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. I mean, Jaime, sorry. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. Mm. That was mean. <laughs> You're mean. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh! Yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move! Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Would they really be that surprised? Everybody knew he was a machinist, so hmm. machine shop kind of obvious. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Kind of obvious. Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. Is the secret entrance I sewers? See it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. First step is a doozy. 
You're going to the abandoned steel mill. It's gonna be like a death trap All on right. its own right. This way. I am wondering, because usually the games are about trying to survive and we have two casts. One cast is this one here, of course. Where do, where do you want me to go? He went over the rocks, but... I don't see any prompt. Oh, there you are. Breathe in. So the first cast in the manor, I don't think that they are in any danger. Or maybe they will be trying to stop Augustine. See the place where Frankstone actually killed people. Freaking wild. And these guys will be actually fighting okay. for for Two their lives. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So... Which way? The medium one. The medium two. Let's practice our time, quick time events. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Only, only reasonable. Okay. I was expecting quick time events. Your there dad were none. Really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Hmm. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. I have a feeling that because the Frank Stone is gonna be like what it looked like hillbilly from the game so it might be that the supermassive signed if this ga if this game does well on the sales <laughs> side i would expect or not be surprised if they basically make a game for every killer okay i want to look around a little bit more For secrets. Oh, I think that this this is a place where we could fall down. That's why they are giving us this run back, so we don't get lost. So this is where we came from, I think. Yep. This is where we came from, so they are just giving us info where to go after we fail some sort of a bal balancing act. Okay, let's go. They are 16 and they are groaning like they are old people. Yep. Thought so. Shh. 
Jesus. I think that my pad is slowly dying. The stick drift on both of the dri the sticks is Chris getting Gordon. worse and worse. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. And Cedar Mill's steel mill. <laughs> Fuck, we missed. We missed one. I think we missed the number four. But where would it be? I don't remember seeing any places where I could use the poles. Maybe we have to go, go through the story twice, because some of the secrets in the Supermassive games are a little bit split, that you need to make different choices to get Maybe. everything. This place is awesome. So and maybe... In, find inside. Maybe if the, not, not the finger, but the number four would be if we went with the path closer to his dad. Okay, so this is forward. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yeah. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights. Uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> In that you know, one we're small not backpack? The Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> In that one small backpack, he has all of that? The fuck? When I was a teenager, I've been in a place like that, and there was a lot more cobwebs. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time. Hmm. Is this the... I really like Until Dawn for the reason that if you picked a wrong path for, you know, you wanted to go around, visit, what whatever... This here? You would just straight up die. You could just die in the environment, not only making bad, des bad, bad decisions or making a... F you know, failing the QTE or whatever. You could just... Decided, okay, let's turn left and then be just dead. Straight up dead. It was so awesome. Okay. I did not expect this to actually open. sure about Linda's new scene but if I pull the director card she'll probably never talk to me again huh it's a little key casting shed I better get back to Robert I 
I have a key. But this door has no lock. And she said I better get back to Robert. Not to her boyfriend. Hey me. Hey me. Hey me. <clears throat> um, That's so sad. I was gonna say, when I was little, and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know what does that mean every time i've ever brought it up he gets that look in his eye and i just don't want to see him like that hmm you sound disappointed jesus no. can we no. i want to stop chatting for a second so i can explore but i'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad me too Okay, cool. So now let's explore a little bit. Where is the casting shed? And what is a casting shed? Is like casting... Metal casting shed? Or some other weird... Oh, okay, so we went... This is the around the section. Where's where can I use this key? The only interactable door was closed. Or not closed but locked. Inaccessible. Maybe here? Nope. Yeah yeah, we're coming, we're coming. Lead the way, man. Oh, there is the symbol. A hammer. So it's basically like the Kanban. The, not the Kanban. Uh, Jesus, this Japanese way of putting everything in its place and everything has this... contour on a board or whatever where you have to put everything when you're working in a company in production or something kaizen something like that gotta love a scenic route any major plans for after we graduate uh i haven't given it much thought not like you what makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film. Yeah, just shut the fuck up. I'm gonna go this way. Are we gonna continue? Okay. So, I can just tell. Oh, okay, film, so it just picks the up. The directing. Nice, nice. It's in your blood. And your blood? You wanna be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies, especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. So now I have no reservations. I'm just gonna disrupt, disturb him, disrupt him whenever I feel like it. Okay, so this is a dead end. But technically... So, I was gonna say, you don't really think it's haunted. 
Don't I? Knock it off. I have a feeling that these are th these are things were planned or put there as an maybe a callback or an idea to give some sort of a premonition to the player when they are playing the game, like in the, in the other games of the Supermassive up there games. But they, they didn't fully fleshed it out for some reason. And why I have not used the key? I don't know where the, what the key is for. I will never know. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people. No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. This reminds me of the... Um, what was the name? Alone in the Dark game. And the final boss, the tree. And cut! How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> oh yeah, she wants to have her scene. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. The furnace room? Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. That was easy. Huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Like, why are they shooting at night? Did you see something? No. It Isn't nothing. that against the... You sure? You seem kind of spooked. F rules or whatever? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, ah, get off me. Yeah. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't <laughs> need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie. I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, and... Uh, and that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? <laughs> Please help. I don't think she would care. I think that she would just be like, eh. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just 
Make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Jesus, okay. The more the merrier, or something, something, something like that. I like in these games that they are. Oh, pick up. Crowbar. If we don't use the key, I will use the crowbar. Um, I like in these games that they are somewhat open, but they are not open enough to get you like lost or annoyingly trying to. Is it the casting shed? I don't think so. Not to a point that you will get annoyed of being lost constantly, so you can just basically explore a little bit. It's not full-on corridor location, so it's always nice. Oh, there you are. So... Did I miss one of those with the key? Might be, might be. Why is there an Oni mask? Is there a killer that has an Oni mask? Let's go. Where are we going? E Let's look at this first. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kinzer Tester. How is it? How is it holding up on the wall? This bolt is non-existent. This bolt is non-existent. There is no bolt on this one and no bolt in this one. Magic! I can see the box. You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes... I don't know, it's... Different. I cannot see it at all. Oh, there it is. How do I go? How am I gonna get there? Is this still working?
fuck, man? Don't play games with me. Do I go under? Over? Okay, never mind. Maybe I will find the lever or something when we start it. There's quite a lot of lights in here, so I guess we will be able to start and look at generator or something. Why are you standing around not filming? Yeah, we missed two. Eh. One might be on the other path with the father, but the second one, I have no idea where would it be. Okay. Let's go. No. What are wh what's going on? What are you guys doing? Do I have to? Okay. I guess I might need to straight up do it but that's strange are they needed to progress the story so, or are they gonna be like oh whoa, you did do some stuff I thought that those things are just collectibles. Blighted rat. At first it's nothing and then we are getting two in a row. Huh. Ah, okay. So this is the move forward part. Okay, so we are getting... We missed two. Okay. So far. I wonder if there's like a secret ending when you get everything. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready, sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. They are not my real mom and dad. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <gasps> and cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. <laughs> We're gonna replace the sound at high maze anyway. How'd I do? Yeah, let's go. Everyone was happy, so let's make 
Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. <laughs> it was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, <laughs> one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. Five-hour shot of guys sleeping. The fuck? But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. Yeah. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? There is a lot like of underlying stress in this family. A lot. <laughs> he didn't even rob the lines. Let's take Bonnie with us. She seems hey, like she uh, can handle herself. Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Wasn't there a phase before? So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me. Also, <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. Like we should look for that place in the newspaper the article. Ground. The machine shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. It's sucking it in, it in, right? Wind? Okay, so basically I need to get this and then it Whoa. makes this. Hey, that's something. Ah, rats. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. The fuck? I don't think <sighs> I get. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. I have not done anything. I literally the, after I after I reloaded, I have done not not a single thing. I moved the camera around. Think that door will take us to the machine shop. Only one way to find out. Let's go take a look.
Okay. My dad I... would kill me if you knew I was in here right now. Let's stop it here. And I'm gonna wrap it up for this part here before we go into the machine shop. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.